Smith & Wesson Airweight. Uh, the 642 Smith & Wesson Airweight is a um, 14 ounce aluminum with stainless steel inserts for the magazine and for the cylinder. This is the CT model which has the Crimson Trace uh, wood plastic uh, wood grain grips laser on it. Uh, it's a 5 shot. It has a 1 and 7 eighths inch barrel. Uh, very lightweight, very very small as you can see. And we're going to compare it to the comparison of the car. Put them both side by side. You can see the comparison actually in size. Okay. Um, the MSRP on this gun with the Crimson Trace is probably pretty close to about 900. Uh, very nice gun. It does have the cylinder lock which you can disable just by popping these screws off and uh, there's tons of information on the internet and I have some information on my video. This is empty of course and the next is a PM45. The PM45 is a 45 caliber uh, polymer gun with a stainless steel slide uh, takedown and some internal par uh, barrels, stainless steel hammers for it, stainless steel. Uh, it is um, a five round plus one in the chamber or you can get a six round magazine for it with one in the chamber. In the chamber. It is polygonal rifling in the barrel. The barrel is 3.2 inches. The overall length of this particular gun is 5.7 uh, 9 inches, 5.79. The height is 4.49 9 inches. Slide width is 1.01 inches. Uh, like I say, the weight of this pistol is 17.3 ounces. Uh, the magazine itself goes for 2 ounces. The polymer is textured polymer that they use in this particular gun. This here is a textured type of material. And this is, like I say, a carry option. Uh, the 38, of course, takes, this is a 38, pretty much, 38 bullet, and the, the car takes a 45. You know, it really depends on the person, uh, you know, uh, what you want for a weapon, what type of weapon you want, uh, uh, what type of uh, shooter you are, how you are with recoil. Um, you can see it's been fired over there. <laughs> This, the burn marks. Uh, normally in a revolver there's a little bit more recoil because um, the uh, this headspace where the gas escapes like this you know that that is uh, you're not getting you know you get the full recoil of that. Over here when this cylinder goes this slide goes back it shoots a lot of gases out so normally you get less kick with the automatic uh, reliability, you know, revolvers tend to be m more reliable. Uh, you'll hear about a lot of different stories from different people. Um, a little bit more upkeep on the automatics. Revolvers, put it in the drawer, leave it like that for 20 years, you pull it out, bang, pull the trigger, the bad guy's gone. Revolvers, you could do that too, but you've got springs and everything in there, and normally you want to, you know, you want to practice with any gun you have and become efficient. But I wanted to show you both of those uh, particular weapons. This is the 642 Smith & Wesson, air weight. Very light, like I said, 14 ounces. Car PM45, subcamp compact five shot, uh, 45 caliber ACP. Um, overall, 20 ounces with the magazine, 7.3 without the magazine. Loaded, of course, you know you're dropping a few ounces because these are, you know, you know, a figure bullet, 230 grains, about a little over 400 grains is an ounce. So it just depends on what, what you know, you're using in your weapon. And how you want to do it okay so but I wanted to go through that and uh, show you a basic uh, uh, video of that so uh, you guys can maybe intelligently decide what you want to carry either weapon any weapons good uh, best thing is to have any weapon better than no weapon thanks a lot guys and I hope you enjoy the video and have a great day